this one. Oh, ah, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. We're gonna believe what Bernie's just shouted across. What have you found? You are fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not subscribed to this and you're watching this, what? <laughs> Good morning, Mud Monsters, and welcome along for another day's digging. Hi, Bernie. Hello. How are we all doing this morning? Good, good, good. Nice to hear. Um, guys, <laughs> yeah, I'm just having a chat with you guys out there. We're uh, This is not live. <laughs> telepathetic. Using these devices, I can communicate with you through the screen. Um, right, we're back where we uh, were the other day, where I pulled up that Queen Anne. Bernie got her a couple of silvers and filmed the uh, questionable um, wildlife program. <laughs> there was uh, Sorry. Loads... <laughs> I know. she got a David Attenborough on. There's um there's been some deer over here this morning as well actually. Um yeah. quite quite big ones. So it's been quite nice to see them. But anyway, we're back. We're going to hit the stubble area um where uh, we found the good bits and then see if we can wink out some more. We haven't got too long. Um we're in between working hours and this that and the other. Wow, that sun's coming in, isn't it? Oh yeah, it needs to stay. Yeah, when the it's wind's not cold. about, it's it's quite warm, but as soon as the wind hits you, it's arctic. It really is. Um, so there'll be lots of sniffling and snuffling. Right, guys, <sighs> enough rubbish from us. Um, we'll see you on first hole luck, and indeed on the first... Uh, Decent hole. Bye for now. Bye. Right, you joined me for a fairly dubious first hole luck. Have a listen to this. Oh, get it for a minute. It's a bit broken. Repeatable. Slightly jumpy, the go off angle. It's still showing a signal, so I don't think it's iron. Right, let's uh, find out what we've got. Well, um, yeah, I didn't think it would be iron, but that is a big square nail potentially, so it could be quite old. What would Cleggy call that? A crucifixion nail. Yeah. Not a great first hole to be fair. I should have trusted the fact it was an iffy single and left it, but you have to dig those iffies. Right guys, after much frustrations trying to sort out my mic and everything, this is my first hole luck. Oh, it's a good old 83, but I mean that could be anything. Oh, there we go, there it is. Ah, oh, my first hole luck. There's a button. Gosh, I gave 83. Since when does a button give 83? Well, there you have it. <laughs> not bad for a first hole. But not great either. Yeah, guys, I thought I had a bit of a fibula come up here initially, as you can imagine. Maybe a brooch, but actually, um, it's a spoon. Broken bit of a spoon. There's the handle and there's the bolt. Yeah, it might have been silvered. Yeah, there we go, bit of a spoon. Right, I got the signal, 72, quite close to the surface. It looks like it could be a little bit of lead. It sounded like there was a hole in it, but I could be wrong. Yeah, there it is. It's lead. So much lead. It's got to be more on this field then. Well, this is a peculiar little thing. It took some finding. Absolutely no idea what it is. But it looks quite old. And I just can't see what the purpose of it was. Uh, so yeah, if you have any ideas guys, let me know. But that's a cool little thing. Little being prerogative word there because that is tiny. 
Hmm. Right, onwards and upwards. Right, so it looks as if I've found a part of a buckle, so a bit of a part of fact, is there any? Oh yeah, a little bit of detail on there, as you can see. But yeah, a bit of a part of fact. Proves that there's something going on on this field, just not quite sure what. Yeah, pretty cool bit of buckle. Right, check out this screamer. Actually could be a bit too high a tone to be fair. Thought it was hitting high 20s but it's jumped up now. Yeah, that should be modern metal but let's dig it right out of the hole. Wasn't too deep. So let's see if it's a coin or a modern metal. Not too far into here. Uh, big lump. Yeah. Looks like a big bit of aluminium. Possibly it. Uh, yeah, something to maybe wrap around a big bag of seeds or something. Yeah, well, I thought it'd be modern metal and it is. Those high 30 tones, they uh, they do tend to be that way, but they do sound so sweet. When you guys are out and about in the fields, do you look at all the fossils that are out there? Because I tend to look at every bit of flint. And look at that, you can actually see a fossilised something in there. That's amazing. Somebody who knows a lot about this will be able to tell you. Maybe make a comment and um, yeah, I'd love to learn more about what this potentially is. Love it. thought I had a little button here, but actually um, it's the top of a thimble. I found the broken part of the bottom of the thimble the other day, so I'm gradually building the whole thing up. Right, moving on. Well guys, not a great deal to report at the moment, other than two holes right next to each other. And I've got a button and a little pewter spoon bowl. So I can turn it over. No, oh, it's stuck to my thumb. Eek. Right, there we go. Yeah, exciting stuff. And I found no end of buttons, but not a coin yet. Really want to find a hammer over here, because there should be one. At least one, just for me. This here gave a fantastic signal. Sorry, the cord keeps getting in the way, but look at that. Ah, it's a buckle. Looks like it's possibly from some form of horse tag. I might be wrong, but yeah. But a buckle. Fantastic signal. 87. There we go. Okay, carrying on now. Put in the hours. Be patient and you will be rewarded. Can you see what I see? I'll just give it a very quick clean just to make sure I knew what I was talking about. But it's a cut half, very gloopy. Oh, the wind here. Right, sorry guys, I'm going to give this a quick clean up and we'll see what we've got. <laughs> Ta da! Um, a penny. That's <laughs> uh, a good start. I can tell it's a penny. I think it's avoided short cross, but I'm struggling. And uh, as you can see from the other side, yeah, it's a bit of a toughie, isn't it? But it's a cut half, it's a hammy, and the sun's come out. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's just great. You can't take away that feeling. And you can't explain it really, I suppose, either. You either find these things and know, know that buzz or you don't. That's great. I felt sure there'd be a hammy here somewhere. And I've been picking through the buttons to find it. My word. Oh, is, it a, is that a bit of a beard down there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so tough when it's like this. It could be a Richard or a John. Or a Henry the Third. I don't know. You can see my trouble, my dilemma. You can't even really see if it's a short cross. 
just assume it is because of the the cross isn't cutting into the legend. Hmm. I'm sure there's some experts out there who are laughing at me and going, <laughs> of course it is a Henry. Hmm. Right, hopefully I've got an idea on the screen for you by now, but if not, help me out guys. Right guys, time for a live dig with eggs. So it's hitting 12, 13. took forever to find and all it is is a flipping shotgun cartridge centre thingy oh flipping ding there you are right straight in the waist oh well, this was a nine but a solid tone and I am trying to dig more tones even if they are lower numbers what's this ah Oh, <laughs> bring it over there. It looks like it's part of a buckle. Or is it a door handle? Uh, looks more like a draw handle, actually. Oh, well, it's metal. <laughs> and that's what we're supposed to be finding. Right, I think I've finally got a coin. Look at that. What it is, I don't know, but we're about to find out. Hey, it's a greenie. The scrubbed one. Looks pretty scrubbed, pretty slim coin. See, let's get in the sun. Anyway, it's a it's a penny of some sort. Yeah, it's my first coin of today. Oh, she's been hard going. Uh, anyway, carry on. Button. If you can see it glistening away there in it all its muddy glory. That's about the 30th one I've had today. It feels like it anyway. Not much junk in the field, it has to be said. But lots of buttons. Not a lot of coins. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a coin or a button moment. And it's neither. It is a that moment. Oh my goodness. Whatever that is. Damn it! Right, it's live dig time again. Look at these numbers. That's coin territory. Right. There we are. Yeah. I reckon that's going to be a coin of nothingness. Well, I don't need the pinpointer for this one, I'll tell you. Let's just flip some off, you just fell over in the wind. There we go. It's a greeny. Uh, coin of nothingness, I assume, but let's give it a quick clean up. Right, it's blooming tough, but um, you could just about make out the small head George III. Uh, and there is a little bit of Britannia on the back there, but yeah, I reckon that's about 1806-ish. George the Third half penny. Well, it's not really a trip out if you don't get a coin of nothingness, is it? And I'm very surprised I haven't had any more. Right, let's go find some uh, some better ones. Look what I found! Oh, I'm so chuffed! I found another thimble. Quite a small one. Can you see? Okay, yeah. It's no precious metal or anything, but it's a thimble and I love them. I absolutely love finding them. Yeah, there we go. Right, this is a sweet signal. Let's listen to that. Not very deep. Oh, sounding coin like maybe silver. Let's dig it. Okay out of the hole. I hope I can get you out of the wind. Uh, let's turn this thing on. I think it's this one. Oh, ah, oh my god. I genuinely can see silver right on the edge here. Can you see it? 
This isn't a million miles away from my, where I found that Anne. Oh yes. <laughs> Silver in the hole and it's a biggie. Or is it? It's not. No, it's definitely a silver coin. It's not going to be punked by a button now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you just love this moment, guys? Look at this. Georgie third. Bullhead. I assume from the size it's a shilling. Do a gentle persuasion. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Right, let's clean this up nicely with some squirty. <laughs> yes! There we are. Good day to you, sir. It's 1817. Look at the way the uh, the patina is formed. It's really quite cool on that one. It's got some really deep, dark areas of black. Not that that matters to me. I tend to shine the heck out of everything, much to the disgust of some others, some people. Caught that wind. Apologies, guys. Um, not a great deal you can see on there but I'm pretty sure because the size of it it's a shilling and that's just fantastic two silvers today Do you know there hasn't been a lot come up but what has come up has been absolutely awesome I made up with that I hope Bernie finds something I know she's had to nip back to the car and do some work but I hope she finds something for her efforts right guys it's time for find of the week you guys I uh, just wanted to show you something that I found this afternoon it's around five here in Denmark the thing is I've always been told not to dig those squeaky sounds you know those squeaky but then I thought you know what I will decide that for myself can you see it it's right there I don't know what it is yet. Oh, it's a, it's a what? It's a dice. Damn. Can you see it? Hey, you guys, see it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not so good at this. It's a lead dice. Oh my goodness. Just a minute, I will clean this up for you. Here you go, see? One and a five. And a four. Oh my goodness. Amazing. I don't know how how old this is though. But it's it's very nice. You can almost not see the six there. You see? It's been struck by a plow or something. But uh, that's the squeaky sound. Bye guys. If you'd like to enter find of the week. Um, just send your finds to our Facebook page and or as a message uh, send us um, a message on Instagram and or send us an email uh, those of you who don't have Facebook or Instagram get in touch via email and we will enter you into find of the week if you can take a video of you finding your find <laughs> and um, we can put your video on our video this is um oh i thought it was maybe a coin i mean the detector said it was round it certainly is round but what is that they're just i don't think i'm gonna get too excited it doesn't look like a ring or anything oh wonders taking the detector oh i think it's nothing I really do. I'll have a closer look. If it's anything, I'll film it. But yeah, it's just a bit of that, da darling. Guys. <laughs> darlings. You guys are darlings. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's my first find after my break. Oh, Burn's got something. It's not something, it's a hammer. You got a hammer? Ah, that is hammered, uh, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you can yeah, see the pellets. Like it. 
there. Don't want to rub it too much. I mean, it won't be anything simple with you. It'll be a cool, decent, <laughs> interesting one. Right, let's get some squirty on it and, and then have a look, yeah? Okay. Here we go, guys. It's had a little clean up on it. As you can see, it looks like an eddy. Uh, they can clip Which is quite not, a lot. It's not normal for me to find Not normal for you to find a standard one, is it? No. There you go. Oh, no, not a standard. Uh, no, any eddies. I never really find no. eddies. I've probably got so, like, I don't know, a 12 or 13 eddies and yeah. you've got a couple, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I'm so glad. That's made my day. Well done, Ben. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, we've got now 1920. Quite a big signal. Isn't it? Oh yeah. Could be a big coin, I think. Right, let's dig it. Okay, it's in this lump here. Still ringing twenties. Could be a big lump of lead, I suppose. But oh, hello. There's a bit of flat metal here. What's this? How bizarre. Well, there's a bit of detail on that. Oh, right, let's have a quick clean up. What the heck is this? It's so bizarre. I don't know if that ends up in a big hook and that's a big clothes fastener, but it would have been fancy at some point. Yeah, it's interesting, but I don't know what it is. So I dug this um, round signal. You can see it's like a double hole. And um, I say round signal because on the pro setting it shows me it's round. And um, it was a bridal ring. And then I find that, but I'm filming it because look, it's still got the leather attached. And some pretty good neck. I reckon it's probably half a bridal down there. Really good signals in the 90s, 93, 97 it was giving me. But yeah, look at that, leather attached. I mean, it could be old, it could be new. I reckon old by the looks of it, but still with the leather attached, that's not um, something you find very often. So I, I like that. I'm going to try and keep it as it is and just wash it gently and display it as it is. It's my best buckle yet. Yeah. Well guys, this was interesting. 81 in the ground. What? Hammered? 81? Never. Look at that. It's bent, but it's got some detail. I reckon it's going to be a good one. I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to film and show you what it is. Yeah, well, Chris has run over to see what it is and he's. For being dangerous. And oh, yeah, he is. Bit, he just um... goes ahead and does what he wants with my finds. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look how big it is. Well, it's a full Edward Penny. Yeah, look at all the detail. London yes. Yep. Let's see if it has London. Needs a good old clean up when we get home. You've had two hammies in, in not 10 even 15 minutes. Yeah, pretty much. We've had nothing for hours and then bang. Yeah. Just the sun's going down. Typical. I know. But anyway. Well done. Yeah, really pleased. <laughs> what is going on, guys? I think I've just pulled out another hammered. Unless I've got a button. A very, very no, look how thin that is. Maybe this looks like it's possibly a Tudor one, right? But time is of the essence because there's so much silver here right now, right? Let's give it a quick clean up. There we are. Um, there's not a lot I could say about that one. Um, I think probably have I just flipping dropped it. Oh man, right there. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think half groat maybe. Um, I'm gonna go with a Lizzie because that's the most common. But uh, yeah, or a Lizzie Penny maybe. It is tiny, but that's a Tudor hammered coin. <laughs> that's four hammies we've had today, and I've had big silver as well. So we are smashing it today. <laughs> oh, I love it when it's like this. Right, let's go find some more. Now look at this, that's something different, it's a fitting. I imagine that would have gone onto a bit of leather, I think I've got it upside down, or maybe the right way around, I don't know. 
Oh. So it would be that shape. Oh, is there something on it? I don't know. Oh, that was a nice surprise. I actually thought it was going to be a button. Potentially something really lovely. Try and clean it up a bit, guys. See what it is. I mean, that's all I can really tell, but it looks as if there was something in the middle. And then there's a bit of a divide. And like an acorn shape. I don't know, it's like a divide in the design. But I don't know if that's part of the design. Anyway, it's lovely. It's a fitting. It's a leather fitting. Shan't spend any more time on it. You can have a look at the photos in the gallery because it'll be a lot cleaner than this. Moving on, guys. Nearly, nearly done. Nearly over. Little farthing of nothing. This has just come up. Yeah, not going to get much out of that. Still, it's another coin. It all counts. Running out of daylight. Bernie's harvesting over there. We seem to have found a bit of a hot spot, so we're working it. Right, let's go find some more. Can you see what I see? Whip the camera out. Oh no, don't tell me you're broken, please. You're broken. Oh no. Oh, what a cute little crotal valve that would have been. Well, it's safe to say it's not going to be a ringer at all. <laughs> Part of a crotal bar. How exciting. So animals once roamed on this field. Oh, pop it in the back and off I go. Initially I thought it's a thimble, but no, it's a bit of lead. It looks like it's a lead weight where they would put some string down the middle. Look, there's a hole all the way through. I mean, I think it's that hole's far too small for it to be a spindle wheel, but I could be wrong. You guys can correct me. I stand corrected a few times. Um, but yeah, that was quite interesting actually. 85, solid 85 on, um, on the dais. GM Power, Program 2. And I use the Pro setting sometimes designs on there on my eyes seeing things looks like designs anyway I'm gonna carry on I've got to head back to the car we've got to start um, thinking about going home soon so let's see what we find on the way home well on the way to the car right time for another live dig sounding pretty sweet yeah it's gonna be a coin let's hope it's silver Right, so it's not out of the hole yet. Let's see if we can find it down there somewhere. My thoughts are coin, potentially silver. It's right in the wall, isn't it? But it could be that bit of lead. <laughs> Please. No, it's not lead. Oh, oh dear. Guys, I'm so close to whatever it is and I haven't got my trowel with me. Right. Gotta be ever so careful in case there's a big chunk of silver. Getting closer. Tantalizingly closer. Stop beeping at everything, gosh darn it. Oh no, not silver at all. Oh, not sure if it was worth the dig. Fairly modern buckle. <laughs> oh, can you see what we got? Oh, the obligatory musket ball. That's a huge one. Look at that. Add it to the collection. Right guys, before I forget and the sun has completely gone down, oh my LP shifted. Let's have find of the week.
Absolutely fabulous. You keep pulling it out of the bag, you guys. Send your entries to Find of the Week on the Discriminators uh, Facebook group. Uh, me and Bernie sift through so many, and uh, I do keep missing a few. I do apologise to get them into the videos, but keep sending them, and I will get them in eventually, I swear. Uh, send videos or um, or pictures, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure they're good quality so that they look great on the, uh, the TV. Right, we're headed back to the car now, and uh, hopefully we'll find something nice along the way. I'm walking over this terrible waterlogged land. I thought I'd swing my detector. Let's see what my detector's thrown up. Ah! I think that's a button. Ah, oh, okay. Nothing interesting, guys. <laughs> Going into the junk part. Dying light. out a complete thimble. It's in really good condition. Look at that. What a beaut. Might be one of the nicest copper ones I've uh, actually had because they normally bust up. There was a pretty wicked crack there but yeah that's good. Nice one. Coin of nothingness. Bits spanked and blank. Yep. Awful. Here we go, one of the last holes of this particular session. This was coming up 21 on the knocks, so every hope it's a coin, possibly even silver. Okay, found it. What we got there? Uh, oh. Ah. It is. Looks like maybe a half penny or. Oh. I was right, a coin of nothingness. <laughs> a coin of absolute nothingness. I think there could be a little bit of something on there, but... Yeah, there might be enough to no. get an idea eventually. That's Once it. we've had a clean up. Damn it! But you were just saying I haven't had anything off this field, not even a coin of nothingness. And then I got a signal and said that's a coin of nothingness. Yeah, and kaboom. And it was! Oh, it's absolutely beautiful out here, isn't it? I know. Wind's it's dropped a little even, bit. Um, I mean, I know I've got my hood up, but it's... It's pretty, I'm pretty warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. And the sun is about, oh, half an hour, hour away from being set, so we better get a move on. Come on, Noxy, let's grab a couple more bits on the way back to the car. All right, guys, if I can get this to focus. Oh, it's tough. There we go. Can just about make out I think it's a rose and orb Nuremberg jetting underneath all the crud. Um, not a great deal on the back to see. Uh, they don't come up in great condition most of the time, so when you get a good jetting, you do know about it. But yeah, I think that's what that is. That's a pretty fast, fancy way to finish the. Uh, yeah, nice and thin finish the hunt really. We're um, just leaving this field and then walking back to the car. Right guys we're all done for the day. That's been uh, quite an epic hunt actually. It started off so slow didn't it? Mm. Wowzer I was getting despondent. Bernie went back to the car to do some work and I just thought today's just not gonna happen. And then bang I got a half cut hammy. Or cut half I should say. And then just as Bernie returns to the field smashed out a shilling um, what's that? It's a bullhead, isn't it? King George III. And then bang, silver's just started to come one after another after another, and it just went crazy for about 45 minutes. It did, and then dead thereafter. Yeah, it's like blooming fishing. It's like ah. literally the fish came to life, slash finds, and, um, and then went away again. Mm. Um, and then a little bit on the way back to the, the car. We're not quite back to the car, but um, yeah, a couple of minutes. Well, that was really, really good. That was our second day back at a fairly small field, actually, in the scheme of things. I mean, it's probably about eight acres, something like that. Yeah. A stubble one. Yeah. yeah. And about the a three. stubble bashing is pretty hard. It's hard it going. It, it really, really um, is. So, eventually, I think once it's turned over, when we go on it, it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll get that extra depth that we're not getting at the moment. My arm won't be so sore because I chose badly. 15 inch coil on stubble is not a great <laughs> choice, guys. Get your sniper coils out <laughs> and smash that. Right, um, as per the new um, format, there will be a nice gallery at the end of this um, 
this outro showing all the finds that we found over the course of today's dig. Um, thank you ever so much for joining in on Facebook and Instagram and, uh, and our lives uh, throughout the, the last, well, the lives we did a week or so ago. We really, really appreciate that, guys. Enough from us. We'll see you on the next dig. Bye for now. Bye.